Sometimes during birth, babies need extra help to be born. These are assisted vaginal births, when a doctor uses special tools to support a baby's arrival. Assisted births are fairly common. Around one in five vaginal births in Australia are assisted. For first-time mothers, it's about 25% of births. Yet, we don't talk much about assisted birth. Often, it's only raised just before it happens, during labour. An assisted birth may be necessary with a large baby or if the baby is lying in an unusual position, if there are concerns about the baby during labour or when a mother needs help pushing her baby out. If your baby needs extra help, the doctor might suggest using a vacuum cup placed on your baby's head to encourage them through the birth canal or forceps, tools shaped like large spoons or tongs which can curve around your baby's head to help them birth. Before an assisted birth, your doctor should check that your cervix is fully dilated, your baby is low enough in the birth canal and there's enough pain relief available. Your doctor weighs up the benefits and risks of using a vacuum cup or forceps, considering the situation and how you and your baby are doing. It can be a stressful time. And we know birth trauma affects 30 to 50% of first-time mothers, including pelvic floor weakness and damage, which can happen during vaginal birth. Your doctor should discuss what they think is the best approach so you can make a plan together. However, where birth must happen urgently, it may need to be a quick conversation. Knowing more about assisted birth early can be useful. You might want to know how common assisted births are at your maternity service and when they're likely to happen, or what you and your maternity team can do to reduce the risk of complications. Find out what you want to know. Talk with your doctor or midwife to choose a more informed birth. To find out more information, talk with your midwife, doctor, or women's health physiotherapist. This can help you make the right choices for your birth. And if you've had trauma or need support, contact the Australasian Birth Trauma Association.